Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum Channel. Today is August 22nd, 2017. Looking at our current conditions, our solar wind speed is arriving at 564.8 kilometers per second with a density of 0.8. Looking at our sun, and we now have two sunspots to talk about, both of them decent size as well. AR2672 is crackling with C-class solar flares. Here it is, 2672 accompanying 2671 which still harbors energy for M-class flares. Looking at our KP indices, is now sitting at a 2, and our 24-hour max is at a 6. Looking at the SDO, no corona holes to speak of at this time. A very small one in the equatorial region there next to AR2672. But other than that, the large coronal hole that was in the northern region is now turning away from Earth. A G2-class geomagnetic storm occurred during the early hours of August 22nd when the interplanetary magnetic field near Earth unexpectedly tipped south. This opened a crack in our planet's magnetosphere. Solar wind poured in to fuel the strong but short-lived storm. So there you have it. Now it goes into depth to talk about cracks in Earth's magnetic shield. If you click on the link there, they provide spaceweather.com. It takes you back to NASA and it does talk about cracks in Earth's magnetic shield. This will explain why and how. Immense cracks in our planet's magnetic field can remain open for hours, allowing the solar wind to gush through and power stormy space weather. Now this audio that they have here for folks to listen to is dated from December 3rd 2003. So this is a condition that does exist where the IMF opens up just for a little bit to allow space weather and stormy conditions to happen for a short-lived time. All right, that's going to do it for us today. Please like and subscribe. We'll talk soon.